What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today we're going to go ahead and take this Red Cat Everest Gen 7 Pro. It's going to be done on the Sport as well and also the Everest 10. Now what I'm doing here is I'm going to go ahead and change the gear ratio on this thing. Now we're going to lose the torque but we're going to gain the top end speed. So if you're looking just to make it faster, you're not really rock crawling anymore, that kind of stuff, then this will be good for you, uh, you know, potentially. And I'll show it in a video as far as the speed that it is able to achieve now that it has this different gearing in it but it won't be in this video so just stay tuned for that one now what I'm going to be using here let me show you I took the the hinge off this thing that way you guys can see it better more lighting coming in there so we can get a better eye on the subject here so uh, small pinion gear big spur gear lots of torque now we're going to reduce that a little bit because we're going to make this spur gear smaller using this Traxxas 6842 spur gear here I'll get it out of the bag here in just a second anyhow but uh, we're gonna put so this gonna be a little bit that's gonna be smaller so we're gonna get more uh, speed but we're gonna also gonna go with like a 17 tooth pinion gear so not a difference in this in the pin gear but we're gonna do on the spur gear so go ahead and let's get cracking on this thing right now I'm gonna start with just going ahead and removing our spur gear first all right, so now that I've removed the spur gear, I just put the nut back on there just for right now so I don't lose it or anything like that. So we can see here, this spur gear has actually six holes in it. Three of them are for the little, uh, let's say alignment posts that are there, and then the other three are actually just to hold it down. So it has this little adapter that's on there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that, and then I'm gonna show you what we need to do after that. All right, so now that I've removed the screws, got this little plate that's on the back here. So that's what we're gonna, so now that we have this off, we're gonna put this thing aside because we're not gonna use that anymore. But you can see these three little tabs that are sticking up. I'm gonna go ahead, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna cut these off. So we're gonna grind those down so they're smooth. And then I'll show you the next step after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse me just cutting these off there, and grinding and everything like that. All right, now that we have those little tabs ground down. I'm going to go ahead, we're going to do the same thing with our spur gear. Cut all these little tabs off here and then grind it all down smooth and then I'll show you what we'll do after that. All right, so now that I have both these little pieces ground down, I can go ahead, get this thing lined up, as far as my screw holes, and go ahead and mount my spur gear. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these screws in here. And then once I get that going, I can go ahead and put everything back in there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, pinion gear on the uh, motor as well, because I'm gonna be putting that other, this 17 tooth spur gear on there. All right, so let me go ahead, time lapse me putting this back on, and then we'll get onto the motor itself. All right, got that in there. So you can see this thing lines up pretty darn well. What I did was I went ahead and left all the screws loose until I got to the last one, and I started tightening it all back down, and no struggles. So there you go. I just kind of nicked it a little bit when I was grinding, but that doesn't matter. It's not going to affect anything. But yeah, it looks good. I like it. So like I said, I'm going to go ahead and take the pinion gear off so we can put the new pinion gear on. Let's get that going. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and put our spur gear back on here. So it's got a little groove to it anyhow. Go ahead and put that nut back on there. Go ahead and tighten that up. Good to go on that part of it, nice and smooth, no wobbles, all is well. All right, so now on to our pinion gear. I'm gonna go ahead, I need to get a little bit of a Loctite on there. Okay, so gear mesh has been set. Uh, you can do a little paper trick as well to slide your paper in there, mesh the gears up. I just kind of eyeball it and I can listen for the noise. I did put a little bit of uh, Loctite on both these two screws once I backed them out when I made the adjustment. So you can do that too. It's just the blue Loctite. Um, you just find that at a hobby shop or you can purchase it online, you can purchase it through us or what have you. But anyway, um, that's gonna conclude that. I will do a speed run with this vehicle see how much faster it is over stock 
you guys want to check that out. So I'll do that one sometime this week. Also, I'll do that one in conjunction with uh, my Gen 7 that's up there as well. Or sorry, Gen 8. That's got a brushless system in it. And we, people have been wanting to know how fast it goes. So that's what I'm going to do together. So that one will be up here shortly, probably in the next couple days or so. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check us out at omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. And this is Joe. You guys take care and thank you for watching.